So Laird will be in lane six. And then the freshman, Maswangani of Houston, next to him in lane five. Laird with a good reaction as it was Brian Henderson next to him in San Houston. But look here, this is Maswangani running away with the semifinal. Laird makes sure he's in second, so he automatically qualifies. But Maswangani just hit a different gear at about 30 meters, came out of his drive phase and just was gone. Still going. 10.14 for Maswangani, shut it down. Laird at 10.21. It's a good thing he finished second because he would have been on the bubble to advance on time. No other advancers out of this heat as third place was 10.34. That's Brian Henderson, who got a great start, by the way. Well, it looked like Terrence Laird just had trouble getting going. Here you see Maswangani pull away at about the 40 meter mark, and then Laird does make a move at the end. But you see Maswangani look over like Laird did in the four by 100 meters, and then Maswangani pulled a book, pulled a page out of the book of Carl Lewis and ran right through to the tunnel. And out the door he went, but an outstanding start for that young man who has finished a lot of time second place to Terrence Laird this season. There are the official results. Only the top two are going to move on as 10.34 is well outside the bubble time. Now they are going to have to separate that final time on thousands. And they get them through. Fambule and Amoa at 10.21 are both going to qualify through on time. There are your advancers to Friday's final. It's going to be a hot one at 100 meters. We may be in the rain once again.